Welcome. <laughs> Welcome back to the Watch Insider. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the Trading Desk. Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome back to Watchbox Studios and Watches Tonight, the must-see that's not on TV. Speaking of that, we have a watch on our desk here that you bought this week. It is Blancpain, right? Yeah. It's a watch that you like. Is that a 43 millimeter? Because they make that it watch is. in 38 as well. Why don't you show it to the camera? Yeah. Let's zoom in on this. So this is part of the segment we usually do with the watches that we bought this week. Right, but we're just already nice, uh, as you can yeah, see. Yeah, we're so. just going to go roll just... into this. So this is the, uh, admittedly, yeah, the Bathyscaphe. This is admittedly not my favorite color combination of this Is that piece. titanium or steel? It is titanium. This is the... Discontinued. Right. This is the discontinued gray dial ceramic bezel uh, in titanium. There is a blue on blue version of this, which I like a little bit more. It seems to be kind of more the trend right now with the blue. Um, but just fantastic watch. This well, is this is that's probably, a great watch actually. This is great. I mean, this is probably the uh, only blanc pond that I would wear. Really? Okay. Well, I don't. Know. I kind of like some of the Villa rays the, and some of the old the stuff. The Villa rays are cool. The fifty um, fathoms is great too. If you want something super complicated, the Villa rays very nice with the undercase pushers mm -hmm. and the moon and all that. But well, I'm, thirty eight. You know from is nice. Yeah, but you know from my watches and my style yeah, and yeah. from what I wear, this is the watch that I would pick up and wear. Yeah. Um, and I it just you put it on some green fits, military strap. Yeah, and, I would. Yeah. And, and march and down the street with your knives and guns. Then you would ask guns. to wear it for the weekend, and I would tell you no. <laughs> all right, fair enough. You would walk away very sad. So yeah. In true Blanc Pond faction, they had a watch in titanium that was wearable and nice, and they decided to discontinue it. That was yeah. cool. Uh, so now you can only buy a pre-owned, and good news is we sell well pre-owned watches. Uh, moving right along, why don't we do the 50-55, and yeah, then definitely. we'll do that. So definitely. here we have, um, you know, we haven't we haven't talked about a paddock, Philippe, in a, in a, you, know, you know, nearly enough tonight. So In at here, least 15 in minutes. At least, yeah, 15 seconds. So here we have a 50-55 rose with a salmon dial. And... What I love about this watch, number one, is how unnoticed it goes in the market. 5055s, whether it's the G black dial, you know, the rose, you don't actually see as many rose salmon dials, is that you can actually pick them up at quite a good price. And for a power reserve moon phase, which on any other watch that's currently in their collection would be, you know, a, a top end complication with a micro rotor, you can pick these up at a reasonable price. You've got an oversized case for when it came out in the market. And I just think that the layout of the dial is beautiful. I love the salmon against the rose. And I think that this is a watch you know, that has sort of fallen through the cracks in that it's not really a vintage watch that's searched out. And it's also not a modern era piece that anybody's really looking for. So it was a watch that sort of is just, it's there. And when they come up, we sell them. But I think that it's a watch that should definitely be asked about more because when you see where call it a pre-owned 5296 let's use that as a, an example a 5296 you know whether it's a in white gold or rose gold is probably going to sell high teens low 20s this is a watch power reserve moon phase date micro rotor that you can get for very similar money and i actually happen to think that this watch has more character i would even say compare the price of this watch pre-owned to the 5712 that you're wearing that has the version of the same movement exactly so you know i just with the arabic numerals the salmon's not going to be for everybody but i think that it's definitely a unique and quirky watch and it's the sort of piece that I think can stand alone in any Patek Philippe collection, no matter if you're a beginning collector or you're somebody that's been collecting for many years. I think that this is the kind of watch where there's no, you know, there's no real category that it fits into. It's sort of its 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 own man, so to speak. I would also say it's less polarizing than a fifty eighty five. Yeah. So, and it's a different it's a different pink color too. I, I think that this is a more. Um, this is, uh, the, the 5085 is almost like a lighter color. Yeah, so a lovely watch, a wonderful old school Patek Philippe and a complication bargain, a rarity among modern Patek. Yeah, I'm actually digging this thing. And we've got it on a deployment buckle, which is actually very cool. And I think that this is the kind of watch that you could put on like a camel color strap. And it is just so dope. I mean, I- Be, I, a, good, be a good match for your uh, Tag Heuer Carrera 64 too. Yeah, I love that watch. From Christie's May 28th, the Important Watches and Private Collections Auction of Hong Kong. Lot 2317, JLC Atmos 566 by Mark Newson. The JLC Atmos 566 was one of 28 made in 2010 with the blue Baccarat crystal case. It's estimated at 40000 to 61000 but with an original retail of 117 grand, you can see why this is a substantial discount. Now, it is my favorite Atmos. It features a sky chart. It features a zoom 
zodiac chart with months. It features an equation of time. It is absolutely achingly gorgeous. And with only 28 of these made, this is something that is more than a watch. This becomes a piece of the furniture within your home. If you let it into your heart, trust me, Find $40,000 to let it into your home because this is a true heirloom and one that is age appropriate for all. Now, lot 2224, the Breguet 5287 Classic Chronograph. This is the cheapest Patek Philippe 5070 you will ever find. Why do I say that? Because the 42 millimeter Patek is powered by the same movement as this 43 millimeter Breguet. That's right, the Le Mans 2310 column wheel abouche, beautifully executed, if we can go full screen with this one, guys. This is as good as it gets in high horology, but unlike the Patek, which is already an investment grade timepiece, this is a $15,000 to $20,000 estimate. Solid, this is solid gold, rose lathe guilloche work on the dial side beautiful on both sides immaculately hand finished inside and out again for fifteen thousand bucks you're going to be paying less than the price of a current daytona on the secondary market and this one is full box and papers well i actually i did not buy this watch armand uh in our office bought this watch okay. i thought it was really cool i don't really know that much about it though i it's it's the it's the much more from roger Dubuis. this is a first generation do we am i doing this right Okay, there you go. so this is white gold. It's uh, it looks a lot like uh, a Frank Mueller, except that it's just a million times better. It has, there you go, a uh, an unbelievable movement. This one I think has like a fifty five hour power reserve. It's a, a f amazing, well hand finished uh, movement. This is, it's full white gold. It's the much more from Roger Dubuis. And those early like first generation Roger Dubuis are un freaking believable amazing watches put it this way it is something i always say if this said paddock on it it'd be worth not fifty thousand dollars i believe this watch will be available for around like 15 or less fifteen thousand dollars maybe even less than that it, honestly i don't know the price on this watch i just saw it i thought it was awesome it i like early cool. roger dubuis their box sets are amazing they uh, early roger dubuis like first generations when you bought the watch they would take like a picture a polaroid picture of the watch printed out and then glue it to the papers and then hand sign it. And then there's a, there's papers for the case, papers for the movement, papers for the full watch. It comes with this great presentation box. There is, when we talk about off the beaten path and like a lot of value for your money, Yeah. first generation Roger DeWeese are friggin' fantastic. Yeah, I absolutely, I really, really like that piece. Uh, older generation stuff, yeah. like we've talked about Short before, numbers, the Easy yeah. Diver. I think is a fantastic money uh, watch for the money. Easy diver, yeah, uh, you you know you get like that with like the, stuff, like the yeah. The, well, I like the Easy Diver, the Lamagna movement. They're just yeah. they're very cool. Sure. Um, it's a little bit big, but you know that's a style if you can pull it off. <laughs> that watch is fantastic. And if you were going to so you buy like here. a Frank Mueller, anyways, mm -hmm. yeah. if you are looking for something like that, why wouldn't you well, buy that? Like it's so gorgeous. early Frank Mueller's are actually nice too. But well, like, yeah. if you get you can get a watch like this which had some probably twenty five thirty thousand dollars retail you're certainly not paying that for this now it'll fit it's it's a like an oversized dress watch is what this is which is kind of the style now so this is a watch that you know went went completely out of style now came back and if you can find this with a full box set with especially the way that they presented I think there's a ton of value, and I think that this is a watch that one day will be actually worth some serious money. Or if not, it's it's a great value regardless. The buckle's nice. Everything about this watch is really cool. Lot 2414. Okay, a Longa Unzona Longa 31. You might not have heard of this one, but this is the famed Platinum Puck, the hockey puck for your wrist that came out at SIHH 2007. This is a watch that is absolutely insane because it runs for a month on one wind, but you will have to wind it with a key. So this is a watch you wind with a key that runs for a month, that's the key, and it's 46 millimeters in solid platinum with the most elaborate deployant clasp you will ever see expressly designed to prevent it from flying off your wrist. This is a watch with a constant force mechanism transferring the power from mainspring barrels with enough punch to take your eye out to a balance. So this is a gorgeous watch if you've got the wrist for it, but this is an absolute rarity amongst modern longa. It is not a watch you see every day, and though it retails for 131 grand, this one has a low estimate of 60,000. That's better than half price and a very interesting modern longa. Let's talk about the consummate value and complications. The the ultimate for the money. The ultimate for the money here. It's going to be the Blanc Pond. Alrighty, so here we have a White gold 38 millimeter automatic blonde palm, eight day power reserve with a date, Turbion. 
screw down crown, res water resistant to 100 meters. So guys, this is a water resistant Blanc Pond tourbillon that you can go diving in. So number one, A, how cool is that? Number two, you've got a tritium dial there that's patinaed over time that looks absolutely awesome. On the case back, you've got a hand engraved rose gold rotor that's absolutely awesome. And overall, this is a watch made in the late 90s, early 2000s that was just beautifully executed. It was the vanguard of when tourbillons were booming. It was made in collaboration with Vincent Calabrese. This is a watch that if you're just looking for something quirky, fun, cool, that's got a tourbillon in it, that's off the beaten path, this hand, you know, is sort of hits all the notches. And I've actually been drinking the Blanc Pond Kool-Aid a lot recently. We just picked up the brand. We've been, it's been sort of gangbusters selling them pre-owned. I think that you've got a great name. You've got incredible value. The watches are, I think, aesthetically very cool. And if you're looking to get something different than a traditional Nautilus Aquanaut, you know, Submariner, you know, Blanc Pond offers a, a great collection of sport pieces that aren't always the first thing that you think about. Gorgeous. Love the silhouette of that mobile escapement. Flying tourbillon, by the way, guys. Eight-day power reserve. Absolutely impeccable pedigree behind this one. Now, some of the earlier examples were quite petite, smaller than 35 millimeters. This 38 in the Le Mans case is just about perfect. And it's a flying tourbillon, so you get all the action up front. As beautiful as it is on the case back, this is one that you need not remove from the wrist to fully appreciate. And that caliber 25, automatic winding with a date, eight-day power reserve, power reserve indicator, flying tourbillon, that is just a beast. Yeah, I mean, you throw this thing on, like, an aqualung rubber strap, and this is now, like, a sport watch that, like, you're going diving into the ocean. And that's, that's so cool. I mean, it's a watch that you never have to take off. One more from a brand that has a far longer heritage in real terms than the 1990 to present Langa. This is Cartier, and the watch, lot 2456, is the iconic Cartier tank. This one, the Mono Pusher CP, 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 was a high end, high horology Cartier collection that ran from 98 to 2008. And this one features. The FP Journe THA caliber MC045, the mono pusher chronograph caliber, also used in the Tour 2. But this isn't the Tour 2. This is the iconic Cartier. This is the tank. This is one of a hundred of these made. And this is as good as it gets because the watch is only estimated at 11,000 to 19,000. And there's no way you're getting anywhere near this kind of watch with a brand this iconic and a movement with that kind of pedigree for under 20 grand new.